Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Carnival LR Granola, and it's coming in from Sam. And before I go ahead and get to Sam's message inside the email for his custom card, send me custom cards over to bhfcustomcards.gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Hey, I nailed it. I nailed it. All right. Okay. So Sam says inside the email, hope you enjoyed this card. It's not like we're getting a granola anytime soon. Anyways, LOL. We aren't. You're right, Sam. It's, that's fact. Uh, anyways, okay. So a wish for strength, granola, of course, an LR, Super AGL, Carnival LR, as you guys saw inside the header of the email. These are his stats. Not surprised that he has a high defensive stat because most of these custom cards I do see either have crazy high attack and defensive stats, just rainbowed, of course, because I like to assume this is rainbowed, uh, or they just have superbly high defensive stats. And it makes sense considering the fact that we're in a defensive age for Dokkan. Okay, so his 200% leader skill is to power of wishes and his 12 key stacks attack and defense while doing colossal damage to enemy and greatly lowering their attack and defense. So strong, greatly lowering attack as well as stack and attack and defense. You can't go wrong with that for a 12 key. So that's a good 12 key and his 18 key he stacks defense and gets 50 percent attack for one turn as well as uh, dealing mega colossal damage to enemy and delaying enemy action once within the turn so delaying enemy action once within the turn could be useful if you do somehow break that enemy's action and for whatever reason it's like the super attack you get lucky cool it's great i mean even if you don't that could be one less normal this card would have to take but i like to assume that this card is strong defensively regardless so strong super attack effects just across the board so anyways this card starts out with 200 percent attack and defense at the start of turn and gets an additional 100 percent attack and defense performing a super attack or just no not super attack that's when attacking <laughs> so used to seeing it for super attacks that's why so yes this card gets an additional 100% attack and defense when attacking and uh, this card gets three key up to nine and 39% attack and defense up to 100% per attack performed so what's that like that's like three attacks right I would like this one's like three that can't be four can't be four attacks that has to be like three anyways this card also performs an additional attack that has a 70% chance to come a super attack when there's a revenge category ally on the team or when there's a pure saints category enemy Okay, so he gets additional super attack chance provided you just have that revenge category character right next to him. And this card also performs an additional super if there is a Goku or Vegeta enemy. Okay, and this card also has a 50% chance to dodge unrestricted. Nice. And also gets an additional 7% chance to dodge per attack performed. And activates the domain Planet Serial. Is that a real? Is that? That's real? That's from the manga? I... When? <laughs> Planet cereal, um, damn, I, cause I did, okay, um, I I did read bits and pieces of the manga. It's like when a new chapter would come out, but like, okay, let me just read this. I don't remember no planet cereal. Is that, is that a, I might have to go back and read the manga for Dragon Ball Super. Okay, uh, so activates the domain planet cereal starting from the fifth turn from start of battle and randomly changes tech key spheres to AGL and gets 5% damage reduction per key sphere obtained and performs an additional super attack with uh, within the uh, domain planet serial active. Hmm. So he becomes a orb changer and he gets damage reduction per key sphere obtained. And he also performs a guaranteed super when he's in his domain. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so what are we looking at with this card? Right. So on the defensive end, this card has a baseline 50% chance to dodge and builds up an additional 7% chance to dodge with each attack performed within the turn. Nice. But the only thing is, is that this card only gets up to three plus supers. You get the one additional super attack chance when you have a revenge category character uh, on the team or when you're going against a pure saints category enemy. So that's one additional super attack chance. The second one comes from you facing a Goku or Vegeta, which is a guarantee super. And the third one comes from you having the domain up. So, hmm. Well, this card, okay, so you get those three supers off. Hmm. That's 21. That's a 21% chance to dodge. On top of his already 50% chance to dodge. What's that? That's like a 71% chance to dodge. That's not bad. That's not bad. Granted, this card does three attacks. And he's also stacking. So those three plus supers he can do from his passive definitely helps out his super attack effects. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, if he does three plus supers. 
or just three attacks you just get that dodge immediately okay and he also gets five percent damage reduction per keyster obtained from him just changing one specific type of orb hmm so if he doesn't do hmm if you're not facing a goku or vegeta right yeah you really want to face goku and vegeta so this card could stack um you really gotta rely on this card's dodge chance until he gets to his domain yeah you really do because you gotta get to the fifth turn i don't know yeah i don't know yeah I, I i don't know okay so his domain active for five turns starting from uh, activation turn he gives revenge and power wishes category allies and enemies 15 percent attack and defense and extreme class allies and enemies take five percent more damage so it's nice to say he is supporting of course because it's a domain um could his dodge build up within the same turn be inconsistent because prior to his domain he's not going to be able to get that guarantee super off and he's only able to do how many supers within the turn because he b before the domain he gets up to two plus supers one being guaranteed and one being an additional super attack chance so he can do up to four plus supers almost up to four plus super because he does his first super from his 18 key he does his two supers well he does his guaranteed and of course his additional super attack chance one and his one for his potential system um that's like best case scenario that will bump him up from a 70 no that would be hmm damn i didn't even factor in the yeah nah this this dodge within the same turn would just mean this guy had to be locked to slot two no he is building up key in an attack and defensive buff from three key up to nine and 39 percent attack and defense up to 100 percent so he get he starts out with 200 percent attack and defense he gets 100 percent attack and defense when attacking while stacking attack and defense in his 12 key and just regularly stacking defense in his 18 key which is obviously nice he gets an additional super attack chance as well as a guaranteed super um i don't know yeah i don't know you certainly really want to make it to his domain safely but i think you i think you could very easily make it to his domain very safely provided he's in slot two this card can be a very powerful slot two option I wouldn't expect anybody to put this card in the first slot unless the enemy is not attacking the first part of the first slot. Um, I would say before his domain, he now nah, he's he's hmm, what is this card missing? I feel like this card's missing something. Is this card missing more stats? Either more stats or this card being able to do I don't know, like two additional attacks that have a 30% chance to come super attack. Because this just being in the card, this uh this card building up dodge chance within the same turn plus seven percent is definitely helpful. Like let's say uh prior to his domain, this card can do up to four plus supers. That's what that's a 28% chance to dodge. Because of course seven times four is like what 28. Yeah, it's a 28% chance to dodge on top of his already 50% chance to dodge. Uh so that'd be a yeah that'd be a 78 percent chance to dodge and if he does three attacks it's a 71 percent chance to dodge and if he does any less than that that would be what hmm okay yeah now this card is definitely a good slot two option i am reading way too much into it and of course him supporting his domain obviously his active skill 77 percent attack and he dodges all attacks is that is that for one turn that that's for one turn like this um and then all enemies target this character so what is that similar to gogeta activist conditions can be activated when the domain planet serial is active and his categories is power wishes revenge super bosses rapid growth dragon ball seekers and accelerated battle okay and his link set is fierce battle shocking speed cold judgment tough as nails over in the flash prepare for battle and legendary power prepare for battle over in the flash okay so um solid links and cold judgment he has good links he has every key link he you would need on a card like prepare for battle shock speed over the flash as well as cold judgment as a defensive link and what tough as nails for that little damage reduction and defense link i believe this this link gives damage reduction i believe man granted he gets to his domain yeah he's only changing one type of key sphere i would change this to like randomly change his key spheres to agl right from tech key spheres and then just keep the rest of this the way it is if i was making a adjustment to this card other than that yeah i th i think i'm reading way too far into this card this card's solid 
definitely solid. Um, anything bad about this card? I wouldn't say so. A stat this card is stacking, has debuffs, delaying enemy action, uh, additional super attack as well as two guaranteed supers built in to this card. Provide the conditions are right. Can build up dodge chance within the same turn, which can be above seventy percent, which is obviously great. Get damage reduction per keyster obtained, while also having an easy attack and defensive build up. This could be built up on turn one, provided you do get lucky, of course. Um, but I will say you really, you really want to versus Goku and Vegeta. Yeah, it's uh, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe I would give this card a dual 200% leader skill, like revenge or power wishes, given three, three, three key and 200% of the stats. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe too restrictive. Okay, maybe I'm looking too far into it. Uh, <laughs> uh, W card, W card, Sam. Um, granola, yeah, we are not getting a granola. Uh, but yeah, send me custom cards over to VHDF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I can get to your custom card as soon as possible while I'm getting all these recent custom cards out of the way. Uh, Sam, again, thank you for sending in your card. I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. Join the 24-7 Discord server. Hey, I just announced that I'm doing unit reviews again starting today. So be on the lookout. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next video again. And I love you all. Peace.